Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to dive into a Node-RED flow that monitors CPU usage and temperature. Node-RED is a fantastic visual programming that allows us to create powerful workflows using nodes to perform different tasks. We will walk you through each component step by step. So let's get started. All right. Here the Node-RED flow will be exploring today. It's designed to monitor CPU usage and temperature on a Raspberry Pi or any other system. So we begin with a group node named CPU. It's act as a container for other nodes and help e keep our workspace organized. Think of it as a folder for related elements. Next, we have a inject node. This node generates a timestamp and send it to the next node every second. It, it acts like a trigger for our CPU monitoring. So now let's talk about the CPU node. This node represents our CPU and receives the timestamp from the inject node. If it fetches the CPU usage and temperature data and passes it on. Here where things get interesting. The switch node is like a traffic controller. It checks the data coming from the CPU node and decides whether to send it to next places or specific rule. We have two UI charts node, usage and temperature. These nodes display real-time data as lines charts on Node-RED dashboard. The switch node decides which chart to update based on the data it receives from the CPU node. Lastly, we have the change node. It modifies the data coming from the CPU node to provide maximum temperature value or to the temperature chart. This way, we can monitor the highest temperature reached by our CPU. And there you have it. That's our Node-RED flow for CPU monitoring with this setup. You can keep an eye on your CPU usage and temperature in real time. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tech tutorials. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video. Happy coding.